scene, I think it is at Belmont, where uh, Selden and Lily admit that they love each other, like, to one another, in, like, one of their, like, witty interactions, and it's, like, kind of tragic, it's kind of sad, like, it's uh, almost like, uh, uh, no, this isn't at Belmont, this is when um, she got uh, screwed, it's chapter, chapter 12, book one towards the end of it she basically gets her first like ostracizing from like that class yeah yeah I know exactly where yeah. you are I think so it's, it's after uh, Julia is told of Lily's uh, uh, money that Trenner gave her because mm -hmm. he was trying to bang her they wouldn't like leave his wife for her so that was on the table for her too Suddenly she raised her eyes with the beseeching earnestness of a child. You never speak to me. You think hard things of me, she murmured. I think of you at any rate, God knows, he said. Then why do we never see each other? Why can't we be friends? You promised once to help me. Uh, she continued in the same tone, blah, 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 uh, as though words were drawn from her unwillingly. And then uh, Selden's, the only way I can help you is by loving you, Selden said in a low voice. She made no reply, but her face turned to him with the soft motion of a flower. His own met it slowly, and their lips touched. She drew back and rose from her seat. Selden rose too, and blah, blah, blah. And then, then she, uh, suddenly she caught his hand and pressed it, in a, mo uh, pressed it a, a moment against her cheek. Ah, love me, love me, but don't tell me so. She sighed with her eyes in this. Like, that's, that's like the moment where they basically tell each other yeah. that they love each other. And then she bounces. She just turns away. Right. Before he could speak, she had turned and slipped through the arch of the bo of boughs. And he just sort of stands there. Yeah. He knew too well the transiency of exquisite moments to attempt to follow her. Yeah. Like, they just, like, told each other they love each other. And that he would make her problems go away, even though they wouldn't be rich. Yeah, dude, it's a crazy way <laughs> to basically, I mean, isn't that basically, where is that in relation to the end of book two, or of book one? Um, it's literally just chapter 12, so it's like three, yeah. ch three four chapters, before, no, three chapters before yeah. the end. Of book one. So it's like in the middle of the book. That's basically just the middle of the book right. is that scene. Well, that's, I mean, that's the tragedy, right? I mean, when they actually admit that they love each other, and we already knew that they did from that first chapter. I mean, where they're talking about all the, like, the other people and Lily's future, etc. Oh, they just straight up admit it to each other. Like, they just straight up say it. And they still do nothing about it. They both just, like, kind of let that pass. Like, that's the tragedy. Like, that's, like I said, something out of Shakespeare right there. She presses his hand to her cheek. She's like, oh, love me, love me, but do not say so, right? Yeah. Fucking Shakespearean. Has anybody made a movie uh, out of this? I guess we should have looked that up before we... I think we... so. <laughs> I guess we should have yeah, think... looked that up before we fucking... Yeah, we should probably watch that. Damn, dude, it'd be interesting to watch. We'll we'll do that as like a Patreon. Subscribe to our fucking Patreon, and we'll do that. We'll do like a reading and then a watching and compare. But only if you pay us, bitch. Uh...